fact of the matter is, it's a lot of work when you really are on your grind and when you really are trying to do all the things and be creative and be on top of stuff and manage your time and all of the stuff. It's a lot. I've been having some bouts where I'm just like, I just want to go hide in the closet. <laughs> I'm like, can I just go, can I just go hide in the closet? It's happening, but not consistently, because I'm tired. Excuse me, <laughs> what do you mean? We're just doing a good old chit chat, get ready with me in this video, talking about various topics just because I need to get ready. And I figured why not do it with you? So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post three times a week here, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And this is obviously one of those videos. So I do have this blurring balm powder from Yummy Skin. So I'll use this one today because I wasn't planning on doing a wear test with this particular primer, okay? So this is the Blurring Balm. I wonder if this is like the Tatcha Luminous. No, what's that one that's also in a balm form? Oh, I can't think of it. Denissa Myricks herself demoed this for us during the Sephora Squad event and I can't even lie, I forgot a lot about it. <laughs> I know that this has been out for some time. I'm patting it because I've done my skincare already and I'm concerned that this is going to make everything pill and I don't want that. So it's a Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurry Balm Powder. This is the color Universal. But I'm trying to recall what this translucent one is supposed to do. Texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. Clearly, I don't know what's going on. I should have used this right away after the, the meeting, but I've been busy, okay? So the foundation I'm gonna use is this Dior Face and Body. Y'all told me to get this and I do enjoy it actually. I am really on this binge of trying out different foundations. So definitely comment below and let me know if there are others that you haven't seen me talk about that you want me to talk about. This is the shade 8N. Let's just talk about what's going on a little bit, all right? I, this is the Sigma brush. I am tired. I am freaking tired. I mean, I don't know if you are a creator or a beauty enthusiast or just like to listen to me or anybody else who has a social media platform, but it can really look like, oh, this is just so fantastic. This is just so great. It can look seamless. It can look easy and it is fantastic. It is great. I don't regret what I do at all. I actually have had a few nightmares in the past. It hasn't been recent, but literal nightmares of instances that took place in the last office I worked at before I went full time. And I was like, oh my God, thank God this is a dream nightmare basically. And not an actual reality, not that I'm actually back there because it was traumatic. Like, come on, it just was traumatic. But the fact of the matter is, it's a lot of work when you really are on your grind and when you really are trying to do all the things and be creative and be on top of stuff and manage your time and all of the stuff. It's a lot. I don't know about anybody else, but I know for me in trying to make sure that I'm on TikTok, on IG, on YouTube, managing my company, man, just like what? Managing my assistant, managing my workload, managing everything, showing up, talking to you all, editing my weekly vlogs, planning things just the whole nine yards it's like yo it's a lot yo like it's a lot okay for instance right now it's august and i need to be thinking about fall content namely perhaps fall makeup looks or fall fashion looks you know and it's just this kind of stuff that it's like what okay i need to start thinking about that and planning for this and also managing the day-to-day -day of everything right now and then emails and can campaigns and all that it's like yo I've been having some bouts where I'm just like I just want to go hide in the closet <laughs> I'm like can I just go can I just go hide in the closet I'm not wanting things to go away it's just more like <sighs> it can seem confusing because on one end I'm like I want to grow my brand I'm trying to be out here and eat. you know what I'm saying do this and do that I have a lot of I have a lot of goals and I'm not wanting any of that to stop in fact I know it's going to do the opposite it's going to pick up but what I'm saying is it doesn't mean that it's not overwhelming. I'm just trying to say that. I'm sharing that because I never want it to look easy. It's not easy. It can be very overwhelming, but this is the grind and this is what, how it has to be. There's a Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer.
here and I'm actually working with Too Faced on a campaign, not this video. And I've used this already and this is so good. This is the color Hot Cocoa. And this is gonna give a natural uh, finish to me on your eye. Natural meaning this color isn't very light and I want it to be lighter, but just look at how this blends. This is hydrating. Great if you have dry under eyes. If you have dry under eyes though, first of all, you need to tackle that. Usually it's, you just need to keep the hydration under the eyes and then let the skin exfoliate naturally because you don't want to exfoliate under your eye because that skin is thin. So you don't want to be sitting here scrubbing under your eyes, but keep it hydrated. The dead skin will fall off. It's normally a dead skin thing unless it's something else. I'm not a dermatologist, okay? So yeah, it's a lot of work and it's fun and it's great, but I can't lie to you. It gets overwhelming. It's like, Oh my gosh, right? So for instance, yesterday, was it two days ago, we spent eight hours, okay, the whole day out at the pool and then just doing all kind of fun things. And really that day, my in my mind, it was like, okay, we're gonna do this for a little bit. And then I gotta go home because I have work to do. But then we were having so much fun. We had invited a friend and her kids. And it was like, you know what? These are the perks of managing my own company that I can just say, you know what? I check my email every now and then. Nothing has come in that is alarming. The things that I have to do can wait. So why don't I just let them wait and why don't I just enjoy this time? So I canceled my therapy appointment. I told my therapist and she was all about it because she she just, she gets it. And I'm like, I'm gonna just stay by the pool. We're gonna just chill today. And it felt good to be able to do that. But I can't lie, a little, little teeny part of my brain was like, oh my God, I gotta stay up late today because I have a lot of work to do. But of course I wouldn't have done that if what I had to do was pressing like it had to be done that day. It just got pushed, which is okay. But nonetheless, whether it's that day or even the day after, I still am like, wow, I have a lot of work to do. Or let me let me reframe it. I have a lot of work I get to do because I get to do this. I prayed for this, but it's still like, wowzers. So I stayed up late the other day a little bit. And then yesterday we went to a quick staycation in Texas City. And that was really nice and fun. And even then I'm like, oh man, okay. When I get back, I have stuff to do. I gotta check my email, I gotta whatever. And I did that and I was up not too late. And then today it was like, okay, we need to go home because I have stuff to do. So here I am filming because I need to create some content after this and I need to do my makeup to create the content. So why not do a video where I'm chit chatting with you about life to kill two birds with one stone. Now I'm gonna get two or three or four pieces of content out of this because I obviously still need to do my makeup. But it's, it just goes to show like a lot of things. So one of which is I am so grateful to be able to be like, you know what, no, let's go do a quick vacation. Let me just move some things around on my schedule. I literally be pushing things around from day to day. I'd be like, okay, move this over, move this over. I had a video idea on my calendar literally from Monday and I've just been moving it every day. Been moving it and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> it's one of many ideas though. It's not, I'm, it's not just one video. I have a lot of things to do, you know, and I'm grateful, but it's a lot. And even Monday, I'm going out of town for 24 hours for a campaign, which is exciting. Cause again, these are things that I never imagined that I would be able to do, but it's like, yo, it can be overwhelming, son, because I'm like, okay, I need to pack for that. I already booked up. I already booked my parking situation. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We got to arrange this at home. Zoom, 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 boom, boom, boom. It's just a lot of maneuvering and then and then the day that I get back I have a campaign I gotta do it's a live right so I had I changed my flight to come back sooner so that I can make it home in time enough to get ready be ready to do that campaign it's not a walk in the park I'm not building a house okay however I'm managing a business and there are a lot of moving parts to it and although exciting it can be frustrating. And I know you're probably like, well, what about time management, honey? There's some times where I'm getting up early in the morning, but I know that I mentioned this in a vlog, I think, or I don't know at this point where I've mentioned it, but I know I mentioned it at least one or two times that it's happening, but not consistently because I'm tired. And it's also summer. And I know when summer began, I was like, yo, remember when I used to work in the office, I used to work at a school and we used to have summers off. I used to literally have my summers off, but then transitioning to now owning my own company, honey, ain't no nothing off unless I set it and say, this is what it is. But even then, you know, there's always something that can be done. Cause it's not just needs to be, it can be done. Like the different social platforms, there's obviously pressure to make sure that I, and I know this is for all creators, we are on multiple platforms. That's the smartest thing to do. Cause then I've been seeing all this stuff about a recession and it's like, excuse me? 
what do you mean? I haven't seen it for me in terms of, let's say there was a potential campaign and now they're like, uh, JK, we're pulling out. We're not going to take as, take on as many people or do whatever. I have not seen that, but I've seen the stories about it. When I went full time with this, it was scary enough. I don't have time to be now being like, wait a minute. So is this about to be over? Is the door going to close? I cannot imagine myself being an employee of someone again. What? No, I just cannot. So that is a thought. Now, it's not something that keeps me up at night. I'm just saying it is something that I've been looking into and watching videos on as of what the past week that I'm like, excuse me, this cannot happen. My nose contour is crooked, but here we are. That was a KBD vegan, good apple bomb in a color 098. But you know, it just feels like a lot in a great way. And then when I think about where I am financially, so I met with my accountant, which was so nice and <laughs> got an idea of where I stand right now, where I was last year, so on and so forth. And not only is it motivating and inspiring, it is a huge blessing. It's, it's jaw dropping. It's all the things. But when I think about what it'll take to get to my financial goal by the end of this year, I'm like, yo, if I feel tired now, forget it. Just forget it, right? This is a Laura Mercier translucent powder, yo. I don't care what anybody says, but when my makeup is done, I feel good, yo. <laughs> like, I'm looking in the mirror like, yo, you really doing the dang on thing. Obviously, this does not mean that, oh, without makeup, I feel crusty. No, I don't even like it. people talk like that. When I watch videos and they come on, whether it's a vlog or a sit down, whatever kind of video, and then the creator is like, sorry, y'all, I look crusty. Don't look at me. I look crazy. I look busted. I look it's like, wait, you mean your natural everyday face? This is how you feel? Excuse me, what? I don't know about you, but it gives me the secondhand embarrassment. I just be like, wait, okay, now, now you're making me uncomfortable. When you say that, you're making me uncomfortable. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, Despite that, notwithstanding what I just said, I'd be feeling good when I have my face on though. It's just a thing, you know? If you if you know, you know. Even just if you're at home and not really doing something, it just feels good to be like, okay, the face is done. Here's the little edge that I love to have, even if I don't have any plans, but I get it. It takes time to put this face on. And if it's not something that you always do, it can be like, oh my God, 30 minutes to just put this on and come sit where? But yeah, overwhelmed for sure. Blessed and grateful, certainly. Hopeful for how the end of the year will look. For sure. Ah, but like, huh, trying to breathe. Like, yo, it's one thing to hire, which is just amazing. And I just thank God that I'm even able to do something like that. But I'd be like, dang, you did all of this work. So now I have to actually do something about what you've done but I don't even have time. Like what? If I assign my assistant something, right? And then she goes and she does it. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, she's fantastic, right? And I'd be like, dang, that was mad fast. Like, I don't even have time right now to even address what you just told me. <laughs> like, why? You know, like go a little bit slower, but then like, no, don't, because there's a lot to do. <laughs> so again, it's a great issue to have, but an issue nonetheless. And I'm just so grateful. I look back and I'm like, yo, where, how am I even where I am? It just is so amazing. And even when it comes to me, for instance, like right now I had to tell him, go watch these freaking YouTubers and stay quiet a little bit because I need to film a video. You know, like I need to work today. It was just so crazy because I am one of those freaking YouTubers. Oh my God, I'm so distracted. I started putting on my highlighter before I put on my face powder. Oh my God, I cannot. This is the Patrick Star One Size Powder Foundation in the color Dark 4G. That was Rose Ink Cream Highlighter in the color Prismatic. And then I'm gonna do this blush right here from Black Radiance. I'm gonna do a pink lip today because it's just been far too long. I have been coasting with these nude lippies, which I enjoy thoroughly, obviously, but it's too much. Like, yo, I used to do mad color. Like, where am I and what's happening? Yo, and something that always gets me, this is the Lawless Concealer in the shade Clove. I was a Clove. Over, clove. Another thing that gets me too is balancing consuming content and then posting my own because yo, I be here like watching, 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 clicking, clicking, clicking. And I'd be like, wait a minute, I haven't even posted today. Like what? And I used to use a scheduling platform, but that was when I had a lot of pictures. Granted, I can schedule the videos too, but then you got to pick the song you want to put on it unless I already have a song on it, which I don't usually do because we know that many times the song you choose can help to push the video. So I'm having to post it in real time. That is like, what? <laughs> and 
And I used to put a lot of pressure on myself with IG to post three to four times a day. This was back in the day, day, back in the day meeting last year <laughs> and the year before and the years before that. And thank God things have changed because that was too much. I mean, granted it was pictures and it was scheduled. So it was in some ways a little bit easier. I used to go on the photo shoots, but now it's videos and videos require a lot more work, a lot more time and energy. So absolutely not. I don't post every day and I don't post three times or four times a day. Like just the answer is no. And you know, the thing with having the side, the curtain bang, what the middle part wig that I'm about to do that I have on right now is that if my face gets oily, which it does naturally on the sides, for instance, the hair, the wig will be wiping off the side of my brow sometimes. I'm like, excuse me, you need to cut it out. You know, you need to reel it in. You're doing a lot right now and I need you to stop. Needless to say, balancing everything has been a struggle. I'm grateful, but it has been a struggle nonetheless. And I just have to continue to remind myself that you know what, for the stuff that is not immediately pressing, it'll get done another day and it'll just get done. I have a humongous list of things that I wanna do, ideas, just stuff. And it's like, wow, you know, I feel like, well, I should be doing this or what if I, what, no, you know what? Mm -mm. There are a lot of moving parts in my life and I just have decided I just I'm gonna do what I can let me do my eyes right now really fast all right did my usual lashes I'll link that below and the mascara on the bottom is lawless one and done you already know that's my fave it makes the bottom lashes just so thick I could have done more but I really don't have that much time right now so for my lip I'm gonna use the rare beauty kind words matte lip liner in the color strong I could go with something plum but I don't have it next to me because the lip I'm gonna do is pink a plum goes well with pink but so does brown my lips are tacky because of my lip primer and I'm bringing it in because I wanna do an ombre. I'm not gonna just put this all over my lip, like, hello. Now, this is my first time trying this Urban Decay Lip Bond Unbreakable Liquid Lip Color. It says to shake it for five seconds and then apply, and it's supposed to be intense and full color payoff that won't crack or feather. If you tried this, let me know. I wanna know. Ooh, oh yeah, this is intense. Uh, More intense than I expected, okay. <laughs> mm, I would have never done this color with brown, okay. <laughs> We're gonna make this work. Oh my God. I'm definitely going to lighten up the middle because why? Not okay with this on my whole lip like this. I gotta blend, of course, very important. Okay, I might be okay with it now that I've moved it around. I didn't like how it was looking with the harsh outline. Mm, it does look comfortable, wow. It actually looks plum, like purple <laughs> with the brown. Okay, it came together. It came together. I'm looking and I'm okay. Although you know me, I want to lighten the middle of my lip right now. Although I do in some ways want to keep it like this. Let's see. Let's see how I feel. Let me step back and check it out for a second. I could leave it. I want to leave it like this. Let me know what you would do. Would you put a lighter color on the inside to brighten up the slip? Would you do a gloss on top? I want to know, but I hope that you enjoyed this chit chat. I know I love chit chats. I have a fun one coming up with a friend of mine that I think you're going to really, really enjoy. So comment and let me know if there are any topics you want to talk about <laughs> and I'll talk about it if I, if I feel like I want it on the internet. Okay. I will see you in the next video. Yeah, I post three times a week. Make sure you are subscribed, follow on Instagram and TikTok. As always, glad you're here and thank you for watching. Bye.